Hey, Rich, I got a question for you. Go ahead. What did you want to be when you grew up? I actually wanted to be Andy Van Slyke, making diving catches, hitting home runs for my Buckos. Ooh, I like it. Well, it's the dream to become the star of your hometown team. And for one Pittsburgh Pirates fan, it happened. I'm Neil Walker, and I'm going to tell you what I've been up to lately. I was fortunate to, to watch really exciting baseball in the early 90s in, in Pittsburgh, and that really drove even more of a, a fire in me to want to wanna play baseball. When I got into high school and I knew, hey, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at baseball, I'm pretty good at football, I, I, I like to play basketball. I didn't know if I was quite good enough to play like major division one football, but I knew that I was, you know, probably good enough to play major division one baseball. Neil wasn't just good enough to play D1 baseball. Neil was a first round draft pick in 2004. And then the Pirates just sitting there at a spot where I was projected to go, then picking me, getting into the organization, having the struggles that they did in the early 2000s to, to the 2010s, you know, and then coming up with, with Andrew McCutcheon. You know, I remember having conversations with him when we got there in, in, in 9, 10, and 11, being like, we gotta, we gotta change this, like this has gotta stop. The 13, 14, 15 seasons where we had such good years and uh, the chemistry was so great and uh, the atmosphere around PNC Park was so awesome. I take a ton of pride in that. And although we never made it to the to the World Series, we feel like, you know, I, I can remember every guy on those teams and the emotions that went on uh, during those playoff runs and it was something really special. Things have come full circle for Neil twice. From the Pirates to the Brewers, Yankees, Marlins and Phillies. Now he's back with the Buccos broadcasting trying out broadcasting for the Pirates at the end of last year. Fell in love with that, so I'm going to do some more of that this year, which, which is exciting. These days, when he's not in the booth, he's at this place. It's a huge new facility that allows athletes to play sports and work on their skills year-round. As my career wrapped up and I was knowing that I, I wanted to be involved in some things, I really felt like this was somewhat my way of, of, of giving back to, to the community. And give more kids from Western PA a chance to go to the majors. My hometown team and drafting me was something that uh, I wish every kid could experience. I have such a soft spot in my heart for this, for this region. Coming up, these fast flying drones may look like they're on autopilot, but they are being handled by the best in the Berg, the 412 Drone Masters. Next on Fan Nation, presented by JP Roofing.